SFDC Radio dot com and much of the world. Basically, to be able to have our voices being heard. Um, as the sister said here, we don't get to talk much, and those who we are talking amongst don't really want to listen to us or want to pull us down. Um, today, I just guess it gives it gives us the platform for people to be able to listen to us, hear us, and feel some of the pain and the struggle that we go through, but not just the pain and the struggle, what we come through at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah give thanks, beautiful. Now, Kitty Devlin says, International Women's Day, why is it of significance to you personally? It's important to me because society perceives femininity as an inferior trait, mm -hmm. as if we're subordinate, as if it's not as important, and the fact that we are capable of bringing spirits into physical form onto this realm yeah, well. is magnificent. Yes. The fact that we are gentle and soft, these are not inferior traits, they're equal to masculinity. So it's important that these traits are acknowledged and they're shown with their significance. And both masculinity and femininity are equally important. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I, um, international Women's day i don't really like that word yes day. yes you know um I, I i celebrate the whole month Beautiful. the whole year yes. and um however it's an opportunity for those individuals that would not normally pay attention you know to pay attention so we will take the platform anytime yeah it's an opportunity so we we take it you know as those individuals like i don't know if you know the movie that's now selma Women out yes. marching, yes. you know, and the suffragette. Yes. It's like it's yes. been years. Yes. Women, we are always we're activists. Yes. You know, Indeed. we are passionate, yes. and that is misconstrued a lot of time. You know, so um, having International Women's Day, Women's Month, it's just a larger platform for us to show that yes, don't mistake the sensitivity that we have. You know. Don't, don't like the socks. <laughs> you know, we might be softer, but that's needed also. Yes. You know, you need that balance. You know, yes. the softness and the harshness of the male. So to come together and you find that balance. Because just imagine if it was just rough, 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 rough. Mm. rough yes. You know, what would happen? Look, the lions, they depend on the female yes. lioness, isn't it? So. <laughs> Empress, yes, uh, give yes, us International yes, Women's Day. Why is that day of significance to you, Empress? Yes, everything that's been said before is so commendable. Thank you so much. Okay. We'll thank you so before, much. Look at the yes, everything that's thank been you. said before is so correct. But you know, the one very important thing is that it's international. That means that worldwide mm. or internationally, our women can get a platform. Mm. Our ancestors, our matriarchs, our great matriarchs, you know, um, they can come to light. We can teach each other and remind each other of the great women that have come on creation to remind us and to lead us and to rise mm -hmm. like we are Omega rising, mm -hmm. you know. So the, the, the platform internationally is the thing that gives it that, you know, yes. We will go for that. It's not a day, it's 24 7. As every mother, every woman knows, you know, this work doesn't end. And especially mothers, it's a forever thing. Even when your physical has gone into the grave, or, you know, you are still mother. So we think, we really, yeah, and we have the place of our balance, you know. Yes. Kush Genesis, that's why you name Genesis, you know. <laughs> and if it's the beginning of our Kushite nation, then hello. Thank you. Listeners, tune in, you know. Tell your friend. <laughs> I see what I want to do about the microphone. I want to grow with that microphone. I see what I need so. No, no, no. You know, and I love the, the, the various things that's which get highlighted also. If the question is, uh, do women now have all the equal rights they need? What is your response? No. <laughs> Straight away. Because what is happening in you know, a patriarchal society, I see it. What they've done is... They've actually, rather than give women more power, you know, to get us on even an equal level of balance in the thing, what, what patriarchal society has done is actually taken some of the men and effeminatized them so that, yes, so that we have 
a, a large portion of males who are more feminine in their attitude and their whole outlook. So in fact, we are once again, women have been seconded by this very act of rising up that side of, of, the, of the, the program you know, in that regard. And this is a, this is a thing that's going on around the globe. Um, societies are doing that. And in that sense, I see that clearly as a, a second in putting women or keeping the women at that lower level. All right, give thanks. This is the only, bless you. Do women in society now have all the equal rights they need? No, we don't. No, simple, no. And I don't think um, I'll be even alive to see when we get there, yeah, if we ever get there, you know, because everything in, in society is about control, yes, and as we know, we are nurturers, we are the one that are supposed to be home barefooted in the kitchen. Now you've got um, more and more women having to go out and work, no longer are the women able to stay home and nurture mm -hmm. their, their children, you know, babies, six months, they have to go back out to work, and um, they give you a little, and then they take it right back, you know, double. So, no, simply, no. Interesting, yes. If times a lot of folks don't be done, SFDC will it come. Um, Nakida, what is your response to that? Um, I would you... have to agree with the aunties before me, definitely not. I think it's important, um, society, the society we live in is, quote, first world and urbanised, with a London society where, at initial glance, it does appear equal, but internationally, there are women that are still being married off at the age of 10, okay. they're still raped, yes. they're still, um, yes. you know, yes. women being denied education, until yes. everything is equal, no, we're not the same, yes, and we have to fight for that as well. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful princess, Nakia, yeah, give thanks yes. again. The question is, do women have all the equal rights and that they need? Yes. Um, <laughs> so, very 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 I can't say anything different to what the sisters have said before. Yes. And, um, other than I do try my best to, to, to practice as many rights as I possibly can. So, um, for example, I've taken my children out of the system. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a homeschooling mum. Okay. So I try to do the best that I can for my children without any outside influences, yes. bad influences, yes. um, protect and guide them as much as I can. Mm -hmm. But um, within, outside of our home, then yeah, no, we don't have equal rights. Yes, you or something. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the overview afterwards, yeah? You see me on the street every day. We may smile or nod our heads, but do you really see me? No, I don't think so. What do you see? Who do you choose to see when you look at me? Your own version of who I should be or what you think I am, but you don't see me. I wish you did see me. Oh, sometimes. I really wish someone would really take the time to look at me. Yes, look at me. Just take the time to see the hurt and pain so deeply embedded, yet just waiting, yes, just waiting for someone, anyone, to help me, to turn the bed, help me, change the sheet, and help me to smile again. Just maybe, this proud, strong black woman really needs your help. Yes, I see you all the time, but it's such a shame you don't see me at all. I wish you would sometimes when you pass me by. I would really like to lean on you, not too long, if only for a moment, a small moment when I don't feel so strong although looking so proud and standing so tall. Sometimes, if you look, you might be able to catch me before I fall. What do you see? Ah, you must have squeezed on the truck with all day. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Spoken word, you can't beat it. You know, it's like a metaphor. 
yes, to try and really try to address certain realities in life. Yes, so, uh, um, so we know the next five minutes we're going to round up, folks. We don't want one more comment. I want a closing comments from our folks. I want to spend a little bit more time with Empress Ascali after before we come in with Mandingo. Um, please, hold it. I find myself wanting to spend more time with you. Just to be with you makes me feel so comfortable. But knowing I'm treading on forbidden grounds. Mm. I have tried to reason with myself so that we can both feel comfortable being with each other as I'm sure you are not interested yes. in being close. Your time is almost up and yet I'm still wanting to be with you. Oh, the bittersweetness of forbidden love. I just can't seem to get you out of my mind and pray that you don't get my body any way, shape or form because we're treading on forbidden ground. It doesn't make sense. It's not easy. But still, I find myself wanting to tread those forbidden territories. Mm -hmm. Forbidden love. What? Yes. Yes, we really thanks and praise for that term. Like I said, for you to speed up a couple of time and a half I do want to pass the, um, the final to um, Nakila. Do you do poetry at all? Yeah, you don't do yeah. things spontaneously. Not yet. Okay, you know, um, <laughs> um oh, before I see the um, contact numbers, what contact numbers can um, anybody who's listening maybe consider a little bit further inquiries? Um, the num Sorry. Um, um, the number you can reach me on is 075-3200-9500. Very easy to remember. 075-3200-9500. Or O oh Sunshine Lady at hotmail.com. Mm, do thanks. I praise it's beautiful. Fantastic. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for once again for such a historical and a memorable moment. Um, Princess Nafila, what would your closing comments be to our listening audience? You know, the young people, people listening all over the world. Um, I would just like to say that 2015, I made a point of duty to theme it and it's raw authenticity, living in your authenticity. If that means that you don't want to go out raving every night and dutty whining and all of this food, and you much prefer to read a book about Malcolm X or um, go to Paris, whatever it is that makes... Go to Gambia, squeezing Gambia. Oh, there we go, Gambia. Whatever resonates in your soul, whatever you vibrate on, don't feel that you have to conform and mo become moulded and manipulated into what everybody else considers acceptable. Be your own society, be your own um, thought control, and happy international. Beautiful, oh, fantastic, Princess Kida. Empress Mariana. Um, I would like to add that whoever is going through domestic violence, I myself have been through it, um, basically just tr please try your best to notice any warning signs. For me, it only ever happened on two occasions with two separate men. <clears throat> it only ever happened once I became pregnant with them. And um, I don't know if it's because I was in a vulnerable state. I really, I really don't know what it was, but what I do know is there must be some... Um, there is a pattern going on because I once when I was pregnant I noticed a poster and there was a picture of a pregnant lady and you could see the baby inside of her belly. Okay. And the words that was on the poster said, where's the effect of the first time I felt him kick? Mm. Um, no, something like this. This was the first time I ever felt him kick and I'm not talking about my baby. So basically it's that the husband, the partner, boyfriend, whoever it was, mm. once she became pregnant, is then started to abuse her. Um, there's a book that my daughter and I are reading. We've been reading the last couple of nights with each other. If you don't like reading, have somebody read to you. If you want to be encouraged to read, read alongside with somebody because when you share a book with each other, then um, you can discuss what you're reading and what's being, I mean, what you're learning. Again, sister groups would be brilliant, but the book that we're currently reading is by Ayama Van Sant. Oh, nice. And the title of the book is Peace from Broken Pieces. Oh, it is a brilliant book for anybody and everybody to oh, read who are going through domestic violence in any way, shape or form, or um, children who are being molested, um, paedophilia. Okay. This book, I mean, right now we're only in the seventh chapter and we've learnt 
so much. Wow. This book is very, very healing and it can teach us um, how to also deal with our own children and get through our own experiences. I know that I'm not a perfect mother, but I do the best that I can. But this book is going to teach me how to be an even better mother. It's a brilliant book. It's a brilliant book. Give thanks, Empress Mariana. And if you don't want to read, she's got so many YouTube videos. Yes. I'm just going to say, you know, the mystic of this, you know, tonight, coming here, Yes, Empress. there is one of my great books of all time written by the same yes. sister, Ayanna Van Zandt, mm -hmm. and it's called Acts of Faith. Okay. Yeah. You see that book? Yeah. Now, I was gonna pick up that book. I've had it for more than 25, maybe 30 odd years. Yes? And let me tell you, it is had, it's got secrets in it. Mm -hmm. Can I give you all a secret right now? Yeah, go for and this is something that helps you, helps each and every one, because when you meet a new person, that book, by the way, is like, um, from January 1 to December 31st is a thought for each day. Okay. It's an act of faith for each day. And it comes from the Bible. Quotes come from the Bible, from Bob Marley, from, you know, different, yes. a range of, of quotes. Yes. And from herself, from the divine inspiration. Now, she has quotes at the beginning of the text and quotes at the end. And in the middle is a description for that date. Now, this key is, when you meet someone for the first time, ask their birthday and then go and quietly read about them. Because I have never in 35 years met a more descriptive perfection of a character. Perfect, you know. There's no one that can hide. Acts of faith. I'm telling you, there's no one. First, read your own one. Okay? And then you will see that really is about me, then it really is like, so we, you know it's quite mystic that you do, yeah, I love that. I've written down the name of that, I'm going for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going for it. Yeah. Well, I want to give you yeah, that. Yeah, like, 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 come here, princess. Sorry, I forgot to say, I want to say something really, really quickly. Mm -hmm. With regards to domestic violence, yes. a lot of people only see it as the woman's perspective. Children go unheard. Oh, yes. I just want to speak to all the children that are hearing mm -hmm. this. And even if they, even if it was only the adults listening prior to, let your babies come and hear this now. Mummy doesn't mean to. Mummy's not doing this with intention. Mummy doesn't know that the, the damage and the sabotaging that she's doing to you. And I can assure you, mummy loves you. Just at this specific moment right now, mummy is not displaying her love for herself. So that's why she's not able to display her love for you. But I can assure you, mummy does love you and it gets better, inshallah. Wow, give thanks and praises. Blessings in your work so far for the princess. So beautiful. Oh dear. That's very key, you know, because oftentimes we always look at the mum you know, and we forget, we, because I wasn't here last week, that was going to be the next okay. part yes. of about those individuals that surround domestic violence. We touched on it the first time briefly, yes. you know, because young people, they do suffer, or children overall, oh, yes. do suffer in silence. And a lot of people, we did say the first time that parents tend to stay in relationship because they think the young person doesn't know or the child doesn't understand what's going on but the psychological damage that's being done to that child yes without help is only going to just repeat itself yeah because you would have gone through experience isn't it Nikita? because obviously hearing your mum saying obviously you know that means as the child you'd have been witness to Exactly. And that would have had a, a, an effect I mean, on you also, exactly. actually. And whereas, you know, people are aware of it, so people will come and console and comfort the mum um, because everyone acknowledges the yes. adult story. Yes. I did see it too. And what makes it worse is, as in a child's perspective, mummy can choose to go yeah. mummy chooses to stay as a child you're right. attached to your mum whatever your child whatever your mum experience whether it be positive or negative yes. you too have to encounter it yes. so if anybody's supposed to be spoken to it's supposed to be the child because they were forced oh, sure. to endure the domestic wow. violence wow. it's wow. Very, very very important wow. and even if even if, even if it happened 10 years ago and your ah. child was four and your child's 15 16 now unless you don't speak to your child communicate converse with your child you're going to see the same things happen to your happen to you happen to your child and you're not going to want that. Whoa. Exactly. Give thanks exactly. and praise. Yeah, um, no, come to it Empress. It may also be Nakelia. It's taken her a good few years to stop. I don't want to say hating, but dislike, disliking men. Okay. Because of things that she's seen. Yes. 
Another, another thing is, please, if there's anybody that you know that is experiencing domestic violence, offer them a way out, offer them a place in your home. If they will not come, call the police anonymously, report it. I need the help. And even that, I mean, we were talking about this when we went to dinner prior to coming to the um, radio station. If there was a tarantula or a um, bow constrictor in your auntie, cousin, sister's house, and they said, no, it's all right, I'll stay, you say, stop chatting stupidness, you're coming to my yard, and you wouldn't give them that option. Don't give your female relative an option to stay in a domestic violent wow. relationship. It's just not an option. You're coming with me, we're sorting it out, and it's just that. Well, I'm telling you folks who have a idea of, you know, and like I said, even locally, for those who, who are listening, you've got other numbers like Stepping Stone, Yes, um, which is in Luton, 9A George Street, that's West Luton, 01582 457 114. That's 01582 457 114. That's Stepping Stone, also um, and an organization that then deals with uh, domestic violence and rape. They have also have a very strong freedom program. You've also got child abuse organization like Mosaic. You've also got uh, organizations such as Empower and Family, 0790 4086 that's 079 08 22 4806 they're based in Marsh Farm Luton Empower Families Experiencing Abuse yeah um don't suffer in silence you know what I mean no, phone confidentially what do you I think most people know about the Luton All Women Centre they have um programs there to help individuals counselling and one-to-one, -one, all different sort of workshops that they offer. And the contact details are 01582 416 783 because they do uh, multiple.